So hello guys and welcome back to the channel um, doing a, this is a typical Spenno, do, I do four or five beer reviews in one night. Um, so I've been really revved up about coming down to Spencer Arms and doing a few beer reviews because I've not done any for a while and uh, I'm really going in blind with this one and I know that it's something that is, um, years ago I actually had quite a smoky beer and I didn't really like it I really didn't but this beer is coming from the Braybrook brewery um, and they are they are they're over in uh, well they're over in Braybrook um, but most of their beers you can buy from any local shop I've, I've seen them in uh, local shops in Market Harbour now whilst I was working in Market Harbour I always go to the Harbour stores but I didn't actually get this from the Harbour stores, although I think I have picked another bottle up from the Harbour stores and it'll be somewhere in the Spencer Arms cellar um, where this was actually. So it's fairly cold. It's atmospherically cold. So it's probably about seven degrees, which I think will be OK. Um, but yeah, but this was from a little shop in Market Harbour, a really nice shop. They have all sorts of pork pies in there. They make some beautiful cobs, they have cheeses, they have all sorts of stuff, but they also have and stock Braybrook beer as well as Langton Brewery beer. This is coming in at £3.20 for this bottle, so it's fairly expensive, but what, what price do you put on an absolute crafted lager like this? So this is a smoked lager, so I'm really going in. I don't know much about smoked lagers, I really don't. So when I say I'm going in blind, I mean like... I always go in sort of blind on um, a lot of beers because I just want to see what I get from them because regardless of what any tasting notes say or regardless of what the, the write-up about the beer says, it's all about what the person gets from the beer. So you can tell me a beer tastes like lemon, but if it tastes like orange to me, it tastes like orange. So anyway, so this beer, I'm really going in proper proper scarily blind with this because this is a smoked lager and i'm a little bit worried i might not like it apologies for the light i've, got, I've just set it up quick now if i don't like this beer i'm going to make a statement here if i don't like this beer it's not because this lager isn't amazing and i'm just going to give this it looks phenomenal it's not because this lager isn't amazing. Trust me, this lager is going to be amazing. This brewery is amazing. I've got a collab beer in the fridge as well that I want to try. Oh, my goodness me. Um, for my sins, I've not even visited these guys, and they're only literally 25 minutes up the road. Um, so I will be going there. Not going to any rumors yet. Beautiful looking beer. Right, let's just stand this on here. Love the label, the old smoky look. So it, this really is telling me this is all about the smoke. So, and trust me, I've been in Jamaica. It's all about the smoke there. Although, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> I smell more weed in bloody Leicester than I did in Jamaica. Anyway, that looks fantastic in the glass, doesn't it, eh? Oh, my goodness me. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start getting a torch and shining the torch through these uh, beers because I've seen that done on a couple of reviews and I think it's fantastic because it really because when I hold that up to the light it looks very quite sort of like orangey but then here it looks a little bit more ambery a bit more that's no, actually that's probably more the the color but holding it right up to the light there it does like make it it looks like there's a few floaters in there as well so is it un unfiltered I don't know anyway right <sighs> It almost seems a daft question. What aromas are we going to get out of this beer? It's, it's, there's got to be some smoky, got to be some smoky aromas out of this beer, isn't there? Let's see. Beautiful looking head, slightly off white as well. I mean, it's a lager, ladies and gentlemen. If you're if you're if you're watching this, and you and and the only lager you sort of know is Carlin and 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 Heineken and and things like that. You know, UK brewed sort of like lager. This is a UK brewed lager. But look at the colour of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now the smell of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's really inviting. Now, the beer I had years ago, bear with me because I'm not going to be drinking this straight away. The beer I had years ago, I can't think what it was. 
but me and my mate, we named it the fag ash beer because literally, you know, when like there's a load of fags just been like stubbed out in, in an ashtray and it's rained on it and it's all, and you just get that real fag ash smell. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm an ex-smoker, so I'm not saying anything about smoking. Like, you know, I used to enjoy smoking and everything that goes with it. So if you enjoy it, brilliant. But all I'm saying is, you know, the, that, that smell, it was, it was like a real fag ash, sort of like wet, damp fag ash smell, which nobody really likes. Come on, be honest. That is a real nice smoky barbecue. That's the sort of smell you get. And you want to go chasing it. You want to go finding out where that smell's coming from because there's something nice going on there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Anyway, I'm going to get myself into this because I think, I, I think I'm going to enjoy this. But trust me, if I don't enjoy it, if I give up the wrong facial expression or it seems that I don't enjoy it, trust me, it's not because this beer isn't great. Like, if you are searching... Uh, for a smoked lager on YouTube and you've come across me, um, you know, I'm probably not the the best person to really give um, a fantastic review about this beer because the last smoked beer I had, I didn't like. This is going to change my opinion? Let's see. I think so. Cheers. It smells amazing. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow. Oh, God, yeah. Oh. Oh. That's painting a picture in my mind. Oh, it's, it's crazily amazing. It's such a really lovely, smoky taste, but without being hideous, it's flavoursome. It's... It tastes of oak. It actually tastes of oak. I mean... It does, it tastes of burnt oak. I know, I know what oak, I have actually burnt oak, and I don't mean when I say burn it as in um, set fire to it. I mean, I've burnt it whilst machining it. So I've used router cutters on oak. I've used, I've, I've pushed it through a saw. Um, I've planed it. I've done everything there is to, to, to do joinery wise with oak. So Sometimes when you route oak, oak is quite a hard material. It can be quite um, easy going, but it can also be absolutely rock hard. It just depends how old the oak is. And if you sort of like just catch yourself going a little bit deep with a cutter and taking a little bit more material out, you will actually burn it. The cutter won't cut so much as burn because you, you, you're making it work too hard. Now, I know this sounds a little bit of a joinery lesson or a little bit of a woodwork lesson, but it's all bringing around the, the smell. So as it burns and you get the smell, that is what we're getting in this. This is a definite... However, they've, they've sort of like done the roasted, the roasted barley, roasted malts, Whatever they've whatever they've done with this, they've 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 set fire and they've let you know they've let it burn through. They've let the um, well, the basically I don't I don't know how it's done, but I think um, so, sometimes have I heard that like you can get like peated like peated barley or peated malts where well really if you're doing anything roasty you don't really want to malt the barley i don't think you want to just roast it so when it, when you have roasted barley you literally roast the barley you don't germinate it first i don't think because to germinate it that's getting the sugars out of it but if you want to roast it you just roast the barley um and then you chuck it in the mash um so i think that they're going to be instead of roasting the barley as in kill kill minute and, and turning it around in the barrels and heating it up very hot and roast it that way. This is roasted under actual flame. Actual, it's actually roasted under a smoky fire. And then as these, whatever they're burning, smokes, because I think you get peated. So you, you burn peat, which is really hot. And I think that's probably a little bit too smoky. But this is almost like it's been, it's been roasted under a oak fire. It's a very oak smoky beer this is 
and I can oh, I see see there's a lot of information on this bottle. I'm going to read it in a minute, but it's a beautiful, beautiful. Now let's just forget about the smoky part for, for a second. It's a very quaffable lager. It's a very nice, refreshing lager. And that smokiness is almost like sitting on the back of your palate like what the bitterness does. There's no bitterness in this. There's no astringent tastes from that smokiness. There's no offensive... Oh, God, this is so good. I didn't think I'd like it because the last smoky beer experience I had was literally horrible. It really was, but this is absolutely incredible. Not to mention, there's a little bit of sweet malts in there as well. There's a little bit of, uh, excuse the snivel, there's a little bit of, um, yeah, there is a sweetness in there that really balances out. That smokiness is so, it's freaking done so well. And it just hangs around all the time as I'm breathing. Oh, it's like I've... It's like I've breathed in the smoke. It, oh, God, this snivel. I do apologise. Sorry, look. Mm, runny nose and everything. I've got tissues about, but I'm just... I'm, I'm so excited for coming down here. I, you know, I, I've had a fantastic holiday, but, you but you know, when you get home... It's almost like you don't miss home because you're on holiday, but when you get when you know you're coming home, you can't wait to get to the place you love, and that's in here. Um, so, yeah, so we've done, we've done everything that you do when you go on holiday. We've done all the washing, the drying, packing stuff away. And then, right, Janie's like, I've got to catch up on um, dancing on ice. I said, I'll go now to Spencer Arms and doing a beer review. Yeah, baby. Um, so, yeah, this is... Um, a lovely, nice, refreshing, crisp, clean lager with this amazing smoke to it really brilliant this is absolutely oh do you know what if i if i had if if i had another one i'd drink it straight away because the smoking is about it's just so so beautiful it's so balanced it's just just right it's so good anyway let's read what we've got going on here braybrook beer co is a brewery in the british countryside making lagers to exacting german principles right Oh, I can't even see this now. Oh, this smoked lager, and they've done the smoked lager in like a completely different colour. Um, is a ho is is a homage to the traditional ranch beer of Bamberg in the region of Franconia. <sighs> Spenno, um, now all these different words with an intense smoky flavour coming from the drying, oh, the drying of the malt, oh, over a beech wood fire. Whoa, so no, I'm wrong. It's not an oak fire, but, oh my God. Well, it certainly tastes oaky to me. God, what sort of a bloody genre am I? N not knowing the difference between smoked beech and smoked oak. Well, anyway... Anyway, it's over a beech wood fire. We use a blend of four different kinds of malt to achieve a deep amber colour and a great balance between smokiness and sweetness. Well, I haven't got the smoky, um, the smoky fire correct. It's a beech fire. Now, yeah, now beech does smell quite similar. If you smoke them up, yeah, you know, they are both... Of that sort of like type of woods, beech is a little bit softer actually. I think I'm just trying to think, and it's got like them little, diddy little bits of um, like freckly grain in in beech. But uh, yeah, wow, I've not dealt with beech for such a long while. But yeah, I can't really, I can't really say to you, yeah, that taste of beech. For me, I probably just had oak in my head. But anyway, you know, like I say, we can't all be rhyme. Um, but anyway, yeah, like beechwood fire. But yes, they um, so they use different malts to give it the sweetness. So yes, there is the smokiness and the sweetness. So I did get that. We added a German noble hops in the boil. Uh, fermented it with our house lager yeast and cold conditioning for 45 days. 
Holy crap. Oh my God. Fantastic. The end result is a satisfying, rich, but very balanced and drinkable beer. Perfect for the colder autumn evenings. We hope you enjoy. Well, yes, Braybrook Brewery, I certainly did enjoy. And thank you so much for making an old school joiner um, look a bit silly because he thought it was an oak smoked one. But I think, is it because we always think about uh, any kind of beer and barrel aging to be an oak? Um, you know, you've got the American oak barrels, which will give you a bit more. If you soak into the oak of them, you'll get a bit more of that vanilla out of it. And even the coffee chocolate sort of notes or whatever. Whereas like the, the more the um, English oak, you, it's a bit more astringent. Um, you know, you get them like tannins in there. Um, so I'm led to believe anyway. You know, let me know. Let me know what you think. But yeah, honestly... My goodness me. And I'll tell you something else. If you like smoky beer, if you like this type of stuff, like a nice oak smoked, beach smoked lager, then, pff, God, this is going to blow your mind. This is fantastic. And if you don't like it, because you've probably been burnt like burnt, get it, <laughs> like I've been in the past, then get yourself some of this, because this will um yeah this will smoke your mind baby because honestly for somebody that didn't the only reason i bought i tell you what i'll be honest with you the only reason i bought this beer is because it was from the braybrook brewery if it was anybody else i would have passed it by with it being a smoked anything smoked i thought nah nah it's just not going to be any good but the fact that they've balanced this with nice sweet malts and have used that lager lager in and the yeast they use and everything else god blimey this is the year of the lager i'm looking forward to more and more and more and more lagers um and uh yeah j just take it from me give this a go seriously this is fantastic i enjoyed that so much that i could almost drink another one straight away that's absolutely brilliant braybrook brewery thank you so much i've been spenno and uh yep yeah, Enjoy whatever you're doing. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, thanks so much for subscribing, liking, commenting. And like I said on the other video, please put your comments in the comments box. I don't care what they are as long as they're kind. I love to learn. I love to interact. And until I get 2,000 subscribers, I will probably be replying to every single comment. And if there's anything you want me to review or anything you want me to talk about... Please put that in the comments as well, I'm because re I really do like that. Um, because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have reviewed the um, oh, the brew dog brew dog grind uh, beer, which is coming soon. I've already done that weeks ago. Um, so yeah, so if you want me to do anything, or you want me to try a beer or anything, I will always source that beer. I will go out my way to get anything you want me to try and talk to you about so if, if you're a little bit worried about spending a few quid on a beer and you want me to talk about it and tell you what what, what i think of it and you trust my opinion then please just go ahead ask me and i will i mean don't take the mic don't just do it for a laugh like, um so i don't want you to go like oh spenno get me this new zealand beer that you just seems possible to get hold of and review it because you know i ain't gonna do that but yeah just whatever i'm here to to serve Thanks, everybody. Live, laugh, love. Take care of yourself. Stay safe.